What's the word again? It's your boy, the way we six with another flame. Listen, this episode is about um, I'm doing a small brush section, which is I'm gonna work on my fork that I got on my right side, and I'm gonna work on a little bit of my crown and my pattern. Remember, I'm trying to get back in shape, you know what I'm saying? I'm way back there in the line, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my waves to pop again, which is I'm slacking, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna keep continue saying it. I was off the game for three months and I'm trying to get back, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of waves, they already, oof, way better than me right now. They, um, start, they, they, they started being a waver recently and they already ahead of me, so. I'm gonna do this video for my beginners, you know what I'm saying? For my e waivers and for my regular waivers like me, you know what I'm saying? Copy my flow, learn what I'm teaching, and get the best out of it. Maybe you may be spinning more than me. So, I did a washing style yesterday. This is um, the results that I have. Okay, let me give it a weight check real quick. Still got to, uh, I still got a lot of work. I still got a lot of work, but you know, waves take time. You gotta be patient. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta stay motivated. You know what I'm saying? So. Waves, it's not just like regular twists or braids that you just go hair salon and get it. This this thing right here it takes time, you know. So when it comes to the to my pattern, I suggest any way we know this, but if you're a beginner and you want your waist to pop more, always do a comb session. You know what I'm saying? Even on repo stage, even when you get in your your waves connecting and, and your pattern, you know, getting definition, which is why I know your hair is woofing and, and your pattern is coming together and everything is connecting slowly but surely, eventually will. Always do a comb section, especially um, after your waves, they already in develop. You already got your pattern set try to always do a comb section. So comb, comb, between comb and brushes, they almost the same, you know why? Because they pull your hair, you know what I'm saying? All the way down to your scalp, it depends. If you got a medium or hard brush, it equals the comb, because the comb straight, it, it, you see? It gets straight down to your, to your scalp. So you are pulling every single hair of layer you know what I'm saying? That's why I always tell waivers like my beginners and my subscribers, like, yo, every time you do a section, always apply your comb. Don't forget about your comb. Your comb's like the it's like the biggest weapon you have in your in your room, or in your closet, or anywhere you have your, you know what I'm saying, your weapons. So always, always before, after washing style, even if you have a wash your hair, always apply a section of, of comb. You don't have to be here for 20 minutes. You don't have to be here for an hour. Just do a section at least five, 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just, just comb a little bit. Cause you wanna wait, you, you wanna get down to your last hair, to your scalp and comb every single layer you have. See what I'm doing right now? Right here, I got a fork, so. How you break a fork, you, you brush the opposite and top of that, you gotta know how you created a fork. Cause if you don't know how you create it, how you gonna break it, understand me? So, there's things that you gotta do. You gotta study your hair. Especially the way you brush it, especially when you in ripple stage. When you in ripple stage, you just want to connect, you just want to brush, you, you just want your, your waves to pop. But as soon as your waves pop and they start coming out, you're going to get mad because they're not going to be connected 
tie or you was helping to be connected. So when you choose a pattern, you gotta imagine, you gotta imagine how you want your pattern to connect. And that's what help you a lot. When you know what type of pattern you want, when you brush like that, you stay constantly brushing like that. That's the reason why when I became a waver, I studied the game before um, I started doing videos. Cause I, I wanted to learn, uh, I wanted to learn not everything, but most of it, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what pattern I wanted and how to brush it from the repo stage all the way down to wolfing. So if you maintain your brushing angles, consistent without changing or modifying your angles it's no problem for you to have elite waves why because you already know where you're heading you already know what you want so that's what happened with a lot of waivers and it happened to me at the beginning i wanted to have 360 beehive but i didn't realize that my crown was so center so when i realized my crown was so center i didn't have a choice but to choose a 360 with a squirrel or 540. I didn't know. So, you know, I thought my crown was in the right location. You know, and when I started studying people's hair, and I realized, I'm like, yo, my hair, my crown is not located here, like this guy right here. That's when I realized, I'm like, yo, Fucked up, so that's one of the things that I was telling my waivers. Locate your crown when you scout. Locate your crown. Check how your crown is. If it's swirly, it's a beehive. Check what angle is it so to your right, to your left, lower. Check because based on your crown, that's the patterns that you want to choose. So since my crown is off center, if I get a beehive. It's gonna be a little hard, the reason why, because my crown is already swirling. I don't have an open crown. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's details that you guys gotta remember. You gotta check how your crown is. If your crown is closed, if your crown is um, swirly like mine, or if you, you got an open crown, I got a I got a closed crown, so since I got a closed crown, it's better for me to choose 360 with a swirl or 540 or 720s. The reason why, because it's easy. My hair is already trained to be swirl. If I want a um, 360 beehive, I gotta train my crown to open it for me. I gotta scout and train it to open. It's gonna take longer, right? Cause my crown's already worn, swirly. Understand me? So now you gotta open it like a flower, both sides. It takes longer. So I took the easy route, you know what I'm saying? I went with my crown. My crown's already swirled. Fuck it. I took the easy route, but at the beginning I wanted to have 360 beehive. So when I started scalping and I started um, being a waver, I didn't know what pattern I wanted. I wanted a 360 with a swirl, which is a um, 360 easy. I, I didn't realize that my, that my crown was already formed like a 360 beehive. So I messed it up. And I had to cut it with 1.5 so I could train my hair. To become a, a 360 swirl. So, the end of the story is, okay your crown. Check what pattern you want. That's the more important information I can give you. Locate your crown, check how it is. If it's an open crown, if it's a closed crown like mine. And from there you choose, you know? God gave us different type of hair, you know, not everybody got the same hair, not everybody can choose the same pattern for it. Each of us, we got different things. We, not all of us gonna get the same pattern. 
you might get about forties, but yours might be different than mine. So you know, it's what it is. Yeah, I still gotta work on my crown, but so far it's looking good. And right here, this is the fork that I have, but it takes time, you know what I'm saying? So now that I'm doing one washing style, I'm gonna do two. The reason why I wanna do two washing style, because washing style help you out a lot to break forks. Remember, when your hair is fragile, which is wet, it's easier to move your hair than being dry. So if you in the process break a fork, I suggest you um, do washing style at least twice a week and focus in that particular area that you want to break. And don't just focus right there, just brush everything. Brush the, the weak spot, right? And at the same time, brush everything. You see what I'm doing, right? I'm brushing everything normally, but just make sure you slide through it to the fork that you have. Just remember your whole pattern shift. Okay, just know that. When you break a fork here, your fork might move and infect another area in your head. So see what I'm doing, right? Focus a little bit there and I just continue doing it. So what I do is flow. I flow on a pattern. If I leave this is the medium. A small section, nothing too long, too long, just slight small section, that's all. Just gotta let my pattern know that I'm here, you know? As you see I, you see how I'm brushing, right? I'm not close to my crown. That's, that's another thing, don't overlap. Don't carry that angle all the way here. That's why we got eight angles. You gotta brush eight angle equally. Don't move the first angle to the second one. Every, every angle has its own special way to brush. Especially when it comes to 540. You see right here I'm brushing, right? Straight. Look how I change now. Look how I change now. You see what I mean? When you have 360 B high, it's almost the same, just the opposite. But when it comes to 540s and 720s, the pattern's different, you know what I'm saying? You gotta brush different. And you cannot make a mistake, because if you make a mistake, you're gonna create a massive fork. Take your time brushing too, you know what I'm saying, man? Don't brush too fast. Just gotta see what you're doing, man. You see how the brushing here? You see how the brush change, right? I'm brushing the front first. Then I go on top of my ear. And when I get close to my crown, you see, I start brushing the bottom and I go straight to the crown. I feel comfortable like that. You know, my crown, all the way to the left side. You know, my crown, left side. Boom. I change my hands. Just tip the brush, you gotta finesse it. Boom. Then use the old brush, just tip. Yeah. Remember, just hair, nothing else. Boom, go with the softy. Same thing. You know, softy is to lay down your hair. So, most of my videos, I make it, I make it with the softy brush, just in case. So I don't want to create a fork, you know. It's hard to take out the forks, man. Unless you. Scalpel, and you cut it at 1.5, and still the fork is there. Okay. 
This kind of crown brush right here. This is for a crown, beehive, close crown, it don't matter. Close, you turn it 180. If it's a beehive, you know you gotta open it. So I would just improvise it since I got a close crown. I, I I turn it 180 so I could be able to close it more. I don't smooch my wings, I just push a little bit down. So I put it on top of my crown, you see. Just turn it, 180, 180. And so you create that little swirl. Then I use a softy because the crown is it's like a medium, a medium type bar. So you know I just use the tip. Or if you got a crown brush, you can use the crown brush. You see? Come again. Turn a little bit more. If you're not satisfied, you wrap the brush. Not too hard, just gentle, you know? Just turn the hair a little bit. I gotta push all the way down. Just slit the brush, just, just control the brush, that's it. You see? And then, come with this one again. Push it down a little bit because you know your crown gets. Every time you brush with the crown brush, you lift your crown up. So you want to push it down. And that's it. You sleep. You know, little tricks you got to do, man. And then I use the tip of the brush, you know, to make sure I get that swirl coming in. Always brush your back of the waves too. We used to just brushing the, the front. See a lot of waves just brushing the front. When they take the do rag off the back, it's no good. All right. Hope you guys listen to what I'm saying and take this information and you know do your thing. I want everybody to be shining with the waves, you know? Like everybody to be shining, I'm not a hater. Ooh. Don't feel satisfied, do it again, you know? If you feel unsatisfied, you do it slightly you want to again. Again with the tail on it. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You got a swirl. You can use your fingers even. You know? Just gotta be gentle with it.
That's why they don't compress my crown, you know? That's it. All right, I'm not gonna make this video too long. It's your boy, your baby six. You know what it is, man. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's your boy. I'll see you in the next one. You know what I mean, man. You.